In this exercise, we're going to create a sync circuit using uh, flex analogs on flex elements, and we're going to add the three sets of circuits together to create a sync signal. So first we'll start off with two flex analog signals, and we'll introduce a flex element. Now let's go ahead and duplicate these. By highlighting everything, holding down the control key, just going to create another circuit. And we'll do it again. So now we've got three identical circuits. The only thing we need to do is more just to align them. And then we can also align these as well. And we'll introduce an AND gate. and a virtual output. So the first one's going to be a voltage. Source one, we'll do VAG. The second one will be source two. The next one will be frequency. This is located under miscellaneous. And the last one will be the phase angle for the voltage. Just verifying my information. Great. The flex analog. So the first one will be, oh, it's already been named voltage. I'm going to set up as an absolute value, a level under. And I'll set it up as 0.2 per unit. So for less than that, then this circuit will be complete. The second one is frequency. Done the same thing. Set it up uh, with the name frequency, absolute level under if it's less than 0.1. The operate signal will will limit will energize will become active, and the last one is the phase angle. I've made it a little bit larger, absolute level and under. Same concept. So we'll tie all these together. First thing I need to do is get rid of this. Change this from a two input to a three input. Double click on it. Change it from two to three. And let's tie in the signals. Last but not least, the virtual output. Giving it a name of sync OK. And we'll just do that. Then we can align these as well. There, let's go ahead and compile. the settings to the relay.
let's go into monitor mode. And so what I've done here is I've got two sources. You can see the magnitudes on source one and source two, the frequency and the phase angle. So as long as they're not less than the, the, uh, the comparator, uh, the, the signal will not become active. Now as I slowly increase the voltage and I slowly start getting close to our our configuration, then all three are now synced and the sync OK signal is now active. If the signal goes higher, then we'll lose our sync signal again.